London banks are staff to return from abroad or face tax consequences. Homeworking has been established in the finance sector since the initial lockdown in March, and many senior members of staff at the City of London's top banks have been working from holiday homes abroad. But owing to the tax consequences of having part of their workforce abroad for an extended period of time, it is rumoured that several large banks, including Citigroup and Credit Suisse, are asking their employees to come back to the UK. Back to the UK, but not back to the office. Despite this new demand, they may not be returning to their company offices, as research shows that 74% of companies, particularly banks and insurance firms, are reviewing how much physical office space they actually need. The survey conducted by CBI and PwC polled 133 financial services firms and found that investment in IT systems trumped bricks and mortar office space in terms of priorities. With 71% of firms investing in technology to support working from home, 88% said the pandemic had resulted in a greater shift towards remote working. And the majority admitted that more than 90% of their workforce didn't need to be in the office to do their jobs. Remote working conduct rules still apply for finance workers. No matter where people are working, the Financial Conduct Authority maintains that compliance rules must remain at the same high standard. Speaking at the City Financial Global event on the 12th of October 2020, Julia Hoggett, the FCA's Director for Market Oversight, set out clear expectations. We expect firms to have updated their policies, refreshed their training and put in place rigorous oversight reflecting the new environment, particularly regarding the risk of use of privately owned devices. Ensuring compliance procedures in remote workforces is particularly important as firms continue to manage a huge volume of mergers and the allotment and issuing of shares. Read more at twinfm.com.